The Risk Accounting Standards Board is shaping a new concept in accounting, accounting for the future. When a company accepts customer orders to deliver products and services, that is when supply chains and operations are activated. That is also when a multitude of significant risks are triggered. Cyber, environmental, operational, conduct, fraud, compliance, geopolitical, these are the types of risks that are created when companies are in production and selling mode. Risks need effective management and mitigation. Risks that are not effectively managed and mitigated will accumulate until they pass a tipping point when they turn into financial losses. Accountants classify risk-related financial losses into two types, expected and unexpected. If there is no effective method of risk identification, quantification, and aggregation, any risk-related financial losses will be considered unexpected, as management cannot know the amount of risk that is accumulating. Unexpected losses can be severe, even life-threatening. They are a CEO's and CFO's worst nightmare. The reputational damage they cause is often irreversible. However, suppose accepted risks are comprehensively and accurately identified, quantified, and aggregated, and kept within approved risk budgets and limits. In that case, accountants can use this information in quantitative models to calculate the likely severity and probability of future financial losses associated with accepted risks. Accountants call these predicted future financial losses expected. If a company accepts risks, it also accepts a probability of future financial losses. That is why we believe companies must account for their expected losses. That is what we mean by accounting for the future. If a company is profitable but has not accounted for its expected losses, investors will question whether its reported profitability is sustainable. Investors invest with more confidence in companies whose past reported profits will be sustainable in the future. In fact, sustainability is the accounting measure most demanded by investors. If companies want to attract and keep investors, they must quantify their accepted risks, calculate the expected losses associated with those risks, and account for them in their financial statements. That is precisely what risk accounting does, it quantifies accepted risks, calculates the probable future losses associated with those risks, and accounts for them as expected losses. If companies risk adjust their profits in this way, investors can be confident that reported profits are sustainable. Investors will want to know that boards, CEOs, and CFOs are meeting the challenge of risk adjusting their reported profits to make corporate sustainability the primary measure of corporate performance. This is what risk accounting helps with, accounting for the future.